Watch out for the trucks and people walking around. But after all the years of doing it, you get real comfortable, you know. You should never get too comfortable. And uh, I've been working for for Sims Metal uh, as a sweeper there for about four years now. And uh, I got into the school about a, a year and a half ago. Push it where? Push it uh, towards, towards like, yeah, that way. Can I play some music a little bit, maybe? Or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Check out the, I got the, my, my iPhone. Just plug it in real fast. Yeah. It's picking up a lot of frequency right now. It's kind of too high, but. What happened? Oh, the shows and everything? I'll just slap it. <laughs> That's How much the Caljack guy right there. Oh, down there? Yeah. I've seen them. About how much does it cost for one of these trucks? Well, I'm gonna pick up the uh, second one. Average truck. Average truck, uh, these vacuum trucks are uh, uh, more expensive. <laughs> but, uh, it was it is. It is tricky. So, like, what's going on? See, everyone gets out of my way. They're all like, what the hell? This guy has a camera, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm studying game art and design. Way to become a street sweeper. I was actually I, I didn't actually was gonna be a sweeper. I was actually gonna be a worker, just a regular worker. There's a cop here. I got my own business license. I just use this guy's truck. That's how he has it set up. Say, hey, do you do you want to work an extra job? I said, hey, all right, no problem, man. And he basically gave me a job driving his weaver, man. And yeah, it's, it's been solid. Yeah, that's a good connection. Yeah, man. Love and it. What did your training involve? Like, what was the whole training process like? You know what? Training was actually very, very, very simple. The simplest training that I could ever got was that. Actually, <laughs> uh, my brother, he was running the sweeper before me, and uh, he called me one day. He said, "Hey, come here so you get your training." I was like, "Yeah, I, I came in." 
Took about 45 minutes. Boom, I had it. <laughs> the earliest shift that you've ever had? The earliest shift that I've ever had is one in the morning. Wow. I worked at one in the morning. And I worked at from two in the morning till two in the afternoon the next day. Story. <laughs> Man, my coworkers, man, all these guys, man. It's like I work with nothing but like family men, man. Like there's not not that many young people like me. Like these family men have their stories about their families and all this stuff, man. It's it's real fun. They're they're like, like there was this one story. Like I was sweeping and like I I, I kind of like you know I was looking at something else. I got kind of got distracted, and um, I swept over one of my buddy's shoes, you know, and he wasn't looking either. <laughs> Man, scared the hell out of him, man. Jumped around, he was jumping around, it was crazy, it was crazy. Love it, love it. The craziest thing that I've ever seen while I was on duty. Oh, one day I was, uh, I was sweeping and uh, it was a pretty busy day. There was a lot of people. It was uh, trucks going all over the place and then like all of a sudden right in front of me, man, two 18 wheelers just boom, right into each other, man. The guys came out and they both started to get into a fight. You know, I couldn't, I, I'm not gonna, you know, risk myself, you know, and I, I didn't stop it. I kind of just looked for a little bit until somebody came. But that, that man, that was, it was crazy.